welcome back to Ladies Unique Creations. I'm Nicole, as we've all figured out by now. And so I said I was going to make a river table. Turns out the wood that I had was kind of crappy. And I was going to cut it down and it was doing stuff like this. Except for this was actually the best piece off of it. Because that was the only part that broke off. Most of them... It was like the whole daggone thing was breaking apart. So, it makes me look like a liar. But, I came up with something that I think is going to be a little bit more unique. And, I think I'm going to have a little bit more fun making it. Because it's just not laying down the wood and pouring epoxy and then buffing and sanding and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to take these 2 by 4s and... Inside my mold, I know this stuff is heavy. Inside my mold that I made, I'm gonna put the two by fours so that they're going slanted like this. Then I'm going to burn the two by fours, the tops of them, using the Lichtenberg fracturing. And then I'm gonna stain it a really nice color. I haven't figured out which one I want to use yet. And then I'm going to fill in the Lichtenberg fractures with epoxy, and then I'm going to pour epoxy throughout. So I think this is a little bit more um, detailed, and I think it will look a little bit nicer than had I just did the river table. Don't get me wrong, the river tables are beautiful, and I'm going to eventually do a river table, but beans, my wood was unusable for that purpose. I'm going to use these 2x4s instead and see how that turns out. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. I'm assuming it's probably going to look pretty good, but you never know. Some things just don't work out just like I wanted to make the river table and that didn't happen. So let's see if this will work. So, I think I already told you for my birthday, I got this handy dandy table saw. I'm so excited to use that I, I really like it. I've tried it on a few things and I've had a lot of fun using it. I've never used a table saw before and well hey, it's, it's fun. So, I'm gonna, I already, I already had measured this out, how the distance I wanted uh, between each 2x4 and then silly me I kind of forgot to mark everything so I have to redo it I believe it ended up being approximately 7 to 8 inches between the middle three and the side ones were approximately six inches from the side. So, please excuse my retard dogs from barking. They bark at everything and it's hot so I have to have the garage door open today. But the little retards bark at everything. I, I personally don't really like these dogs but our kids like them so and they are family, and there's family that you don't like that you just can't get rid of, so I guess we can't get rid of these things either. So the first one, I believe, was going to be at six and a half inches from the side. This was really hard for me to figure out before, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as hard for me to figure out this time. Because not only do I have to figure out where I want them placed in this mold, I have to figure out how long of a piece I need cut. And since I've never put like 45 degree angles on the edge of a wood, this is going to be really interesting. I may go through a couple 2 by 4s So, we'll see. I want the first one to be about six and a half inches from the side. So I'm just going to use my Sharpie. I don't think that's a good idea inside my mold because I don't know if it's going to end up showing up, but I am using a black epoxy, so hopefully it won't show and it'll just stay on the, um, the thingy, the 
tick. So I put inside the mold. So this one, I put that one there, and that was a plush. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, and mind you, when I did this before, I used five two by fours so that I could um, get an idea of what it would look like. I didn't just do it all willy nilly with one two by four. That's kind of stupid of me, but sometimes the prettiest things come out of stupidity. That's how a lot of people have children. These things sometimes come from stupidity. I would know. And my children weren't stupid mistakes. They're just stupid. Most kids are. Just to clarify that. They weren't mistakes. They just are not the brightest apples on the tree sometimes. So this one, I'm going to do... I'm going to do 7 inches. I'm going to see how this works. So, 7 inches. That's about right there. And mind you, I want them slanted. I don't want them going straight. I want them to go at an angle. I want them to do something that was a little unique. And then this one, we're going to do about another seven inches from that one and if it's off once I cut them because I think the hardest part is going to be the corners I think the rest of them it'll be a matter of just cutting it down a little bit or starting over because I cut too much so this one about seven right there And right here also. It may have been eight. I may have had them at eight inches apart. I don't remember. This was a couple days ago. I I measured this out a few days ago and I had finals for school since then. So I haven't been able to get back to it. Let's see. I'm going to do this one in the corner. I said six and a half. So six and a half from this corner would be right here. Which tells me that seven inches isn't going to work between each of them. So That's inside. Let's see from side to side how many inches this thing actually is. From corner to corner. Up. From that corner. All the way to this corner is 54 inches. So I am not good at math whatsoever. 54 divided by 5 ends up 54 divided by 5 would be 10 times 10 point8. So I need 10.8 in between each one to make it even. Which, if you account for the wood, if you account for the wood, which should be four inches across, and it's not, so I don't know why the heck it's called a two by four, because it's a two by three and a quarter. So that would make it roughly seven. But that's not working. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up now and I'm just going to start cutting. And we'll see how that works out. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one first. And beans it is going to be on the edge. I'm going to want this one cut at an angle just like this one. So I'm going to cut it like so over there. This thing would want to stay for me, which it doesn't. And like so over here. I really don't see me needing to put this thing on a table saw. That's kind of big to put on the table saw. And since my saw horses are being used, I'm just going to use my saw saw real quick and hope that the pieces I want to use don't fall off. So, like I always stress, Safety. I'll find my goggles. I think they're over here. And then and I misplaced my phone. I don't want the under this wood. Holy hell. I'm not gonna worry about my phone. I found my goggles. And they're a little dusty because I was in here cutting wood that I found in the forest. And it was, we were lucky because we came across a tree that someone had cut down and left the majority of the tree. It was really weird. So we took the rest of the tree and brought it home. And I've been making little circles out of them. And that's just some of them. I have bigger ones and I have smaller ones. Okay. I'm going to cut off this edge over here at an angle because that's how I want it. <laughs> I didn't even touch my line. My line's still here guys. Wow. That was totally not measured right. Like my line's still at the end. Oh well. So I'll just do this one too. That's lovely. And this one, I'm going to move it out because I'm going to have to have it go this way and I don't want it to go into my mold. Maybe the guard was stuck. We'll try again. And the edge ended up a little bit rough. And I definitely didn't get it all the way on this line either. As you can see. But like I said, that's okay. I'm not here to be perfect. I'm here to learn as I go. So I wanted this one. <laughs> I wanted it to fit in the corner. What did I do wrong? Oh, it does almost fit. Except, I don't know what I did wrong. This is quite awkward. So, I'm going to stop filming for right this minute and I'm going to try to figure out where the heck I went wrong and try to get this wood even because it's not going to end up looking right if I don't have it even. So I will cut my wood and I'm not going to 
put you guys through the pain of watching me mess up every single piece of wood I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to cut all my wood, and then when I'm ready to burn it, I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. And needless to say, it didn't go how I planned. The cuts look really nice. Well, not this one. This one's kind of ugly because it's kind of jagged. But this one looks nice. And then the other two or three I did look really nice. But I couldn't figure out how to get it to fit in the corner properly. So, <coughs> I'm a very impatient person. And I got tired of waiting. So, I decided to go ahead and do something a little bit different. I decided to make them go straight. Which is boring. I know. But, I don't care. So, I decided to pick the side of wood to burn that I thought had the most character. So, I have them all turned on the side that I like. Not in the clothes right now. So, we are going to burn. And, for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, the Lichtenberg, Lichtenberg wood fracturing, it makes a pattern that kind of looks like a tree almost. You use a mixture of baking soda and water. You brush the, the wood with the baking soda and water. And then you use this device right here to burn the wood. It was recommended to have rubber mats, which I have underneath the piece. I have underneath me. And I went as far, I got these little rubber bracelets so that, um, just to ground myself a little bit more. And then... I got these, can't really see, and then stuck on my grandpa pants, these rubber boots from Amazon, just to ensure that I was really, really safe. I don't, like I said in another previous video, I am pregnant and I don't want anything to happen. But me being pregnant isn't going to stop me from doing the things I enjoy to do if I'm still capable of doing them. So let's get to burning. I'm going to stir it beans. I haven't used it in a little bit. And then I'm going to wet the wood. And last time, it was the first time I ever have done this, I couldn't find the right wetness or dryness of the wood. So my son and I, we were sitting there and we were trying to get it to go. And we realized that after a while, it would just start to go on its own. So, and this came with a paddle that you step on. It's kind of like a sewing machine paddle. And you don't want to step on the paddle until you have these placed, which it's a little bit, I'm gonna turn it around the other way because they're a little bit too tight. I'm going to switch it. And you don't want to touch them together. Because like I said, this thing has 10,000 volts of electricity running through it. And you don't want to step on the paddle until you have your prods down on your piece. So, that one started right away. This one over here, it did this to me last time too. It's like they have a mind of their own and they start when they want to start. I may not have it wet enough. And as it starts to burn, it'll dry itself out a little bit. So I'm hoping to get a really, really good burn because I want it to be kind of deep. I want it to be able to fill it with epoxy. And I want it to really stand out from the table, the rest of the epoxy. I was thinking of maybe using either like a bronze or a white or a gold. I told my husband I... I burn a piece of wood and stain it and then see how the white looked because he thought it would look really cool but I'm not sure the white is going to end up working out and when you use this as you can see there's a lot of smoke so make sure you're in a well ventilated area I probably should have on my respirator right now but it's 100 degrees outside and it's hot enough as it is not to have my face all covered by the mask and then it just makes it really difficult to breathe when it's hot. 
So this one's burning at an okay rate. I'm probably going to have to wet it some more because it already looks like it's starting to dry out. Like I said, it's really hot. So it's probably going to dry faster than I would like it to. And I just want a really kind of neat design so that when you look at the table, it looks like tree branches were coming from both sides of the wood. Now on this piece, I can see way over here where you can't even see it on the front of the wood, the electricity going through it. So always be very, very, very careful. And try not to touch your work area also. Because if you touch your work area, you could get electrocuted and you don't want that. That's no good. You don't want to be dead or in the hospital because you're careless. That's just stupidity if you ask me. And it's funny because if you, you, you can feel the electricity running through the cords on the prods. So it's kind of crazy. And this particular piece of wood, this didn't happen before. It, I don't know how to explain it because I don't think you can see from where I have you positioned. So let me stop and move you guys so you can kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit better. So I'm gonna wet it again because Oh, now you can't see my lips. Holy moly. Shut up! Oh, God! Okay. So, I'm going to wait it again and dry it out a little bit. It's a little bit too dry. And this is going to turn my water an ugly shade of yellow, like I peed in there, but it's just from the wood. So I want to go back to where I started. And it's going to take a minute now because I think I got it too wet. So I wet the wood some more. I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, but I'll show you when I'm done. So I'm going to put the prods back, step on the pedal, and like I said, it's kind of like a sewing machine pedal, well it's exactly like a sewing machine pedal. And I think I got it too wet, again. So we gotta wait a minute for it to start burning. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all four pieces of wood because it's just really boring. So I'm gonna show you this one and then um, I'm gonna show you this one and then I'm gonna do the other four off camera and then I'm gonna come back and stain on that. Shouldn't take too long. I'll I'll put that on video. Oh. These suckers were like dug down in there. I don't know what I did. And this thing's moving. And it just sounded like someone's cat got hurt. Just a minute. I'll go make sure my dogs aren't eating a cat. Okay. So my dogs didn't eat a cat, which is nice because that really kind of excuse my French, but piss me off because we have cats and that means that they're around our cats, they're going to eat our cats. But they didn't eat the cats, so that's good. So let's get back to burning. Back in the same spot. I had to wet it again. And 
And we will wait to see if it starts burning. If not, I'll have to move it to a different spot. Which I don't really want to do. I want to keep it kind of in the same spot so it keeps going on the pattern it was going on. And that is the Idiot Neighbors. And they don't realize that their car sounds like crap. Now I think if you're going to have your bass up like that, it should at least sound good. And not sound like your, your car is going to explode and the metal's going to fly everywhere. So I think that maybe, I'll wait a couple seconds longer, I think maybe it was too wet. Today is just not my day. Idiot dogs. Cat that's getting eaten. Idiot dogs again, but it's the other idiot dogs because we have four of them. And then the idiot neighbors. This is just not my day, guys. You know. I think there's a special place in hell for morons like these dogs and the neighbors. I really truly do. Okay, so I moved it to see if maybe, just maybe, it'll start burning again. Because it doesn't seem like it wants to burn. And I don't know if I got it too wet. Or if it's too dry. So we'll just wait and see. You have to excuse my mess behind me. I haven't cleaned up my area in probably like a week. I've been cutting a ton of wood and the floor looks like a dust tornado hit. So I think it might be too wet. I see little pools of water in here. So I'm gonna move it out of the pooled water to the end of one of these little branches here and see what the heck is going on. So I went to the tractor supply place today. Oh my god, they have like a ton of cool stuff. I didn't know they have axes and chainsaws and pole saws and Amongst all that like animal stuff you need to run a farm. And I got these spippy little grandpa overalls. I figured when my belly starts getting big, these would be really good to work in. Because they'll expand and I'm not stuck wearing sweatpants because it's too hot for that. I'd rather wear jeans. And boy oh boy, I must have got this really wet. Yeah, I like them, these little grandpa overalls. They're pretty comfy and airy. They're not all up on you like jeans are. And there goes one side. I think it's starting to dry out enough. And it seems like it's going in the opposite way, the way it already came. So that's kind of weird. And it's traveling off, it'd be to the front to you guys. No, it'd be the back of you to you guys. The front, my front, your back, if you're looking at the wood, which you can't even see, I'm assuming right now.
but it's slowly but surely moving. The problem is I want it to go across the whole front of the wood. And this side over here, my right your left, doesn't want to do nothing. It just wants to sit there and not burn. Maybe I'll go back here where it's a little more wet. Okay, so I'm thinking this side over here is a little bit too dry. So I'm going to wet it again. I hope I don't get it too wet. Try to brush, oh, brush some of that water out. It's tiring for an old lady like me being out in the heat doing this. But it sure is fun. And if you like having new hobbies and learning how to use different things and you don't mind putting your whoa that jumped to not where i want it don't mind kind of putting your life in danger a little bit i suggest getting one of these lichtenberg bigger wood burners it's really fun and really neat if it decides to work today for me Like I said, I may have got it a little bit too wet. And my little paddle thingy keeps sliding. Good times. We have ripped to burn. And it's starting to burn a little bit. I just don't know if maybe it's too hot. And it's kind of Kind of um, drying my wood out faster. These suckers don't want to burn. Okay, so they don't want to burn. And I'm a very impatient person, like I said earlier. And that is going to aggravate me. So, what I'm going to do is go back to where I started. And hopefully, it'll want to do its job. Ooh. Don't press the pedal when these are not on your piece. I forgot. Whoa. I like really forgot. Don't press the pedal unless you have your prods either in there. No, not even in their spot. 
on your piece that you're burning. one more time. I swear you guys, I'm going to get this right eventually and then I won't have all these little mistakes in between. I'm going to kind of blot it with the cloth. See if that helps. And then I'm going to come to the end of this one, into the end of this one. It didn't help. Since I am my own cameraman, I can't keep going back and forth because then if it starts burning like it is now, then... It might dry out by the time I get back. So I also had, when I ordered this machine, they also sent high voltage gloves that you can use with it. But they're really large and it makes it really difficult to hold on to it. As long as you keep your fingers behind these discs, or your hands, I should say, behind the discs, then it's fine. You don't have to wear them. And this piece of wood's being a you-know-what. So, let's try a different one. Let's start fresh, and then I'll go back to that when I'm done. kind of interesting because I like some weird ridges in it. It's kind of pretty. So I'm going to start as close to the edge as I can get it. And this one's not really branching out my left side. It's not really branching out, it's more so just going in a straight line, so I'm going to have to go back and try to have branches come from the sides. I didn't want it to make me look like a liar because now it's starting to. This really makes your eyeballs burn. Now this piece of wood obviously has a mind of its own too because it's not branching out. It's just going like kind of in a straight line. It's not very pretty. Okay, so the arcs finally met, but I don't like how on this particular piece of wood, this is what it looks like. I want them to kind of branch out, and it didn't do that, so I'm going to wet it a little bit more. And try to get the arcs to branch out a little bit. Maybe if I touch it in different spots, and it'll make it kind of go in the direction I would prefer it to go. So I'm 
start here and I'm gonna start here. Now let me tell you, these rubber boots are making my legs sweat. They go pretty much up your whole cat. Not fun to wear in the summertime. So I think I got it too wet. We're going to wait until it dries a little bit. There goes one side. An itty bitty bit. I'll wait for the other side to finally catch. And I'm sorry for all the sniffles, but this smoke really burns. I don't know that a 2x4 was probably the best wood to burn. I'm still trying out different types of wood. Last time I think it was poplar wood I tried. And that one, um, it turned out pretty nice. This I think is like oak or something. I don't even think it's oak. I don't know what kind of tree this is. Okay, so this one's also being stubborn. I think what I want to do is come from the opposite edges and see if that will do anything. Like I said, today has been rough. Nothing wants to work the way I want it to. This one seems like it's just going down the side. Which, I didn't really want to just go down the side. I didn't want it to go across. because they kind of make these arcs and then they have a mind of their own like if they don't want to branch out they just go in one spot what I wanted it to do but not so much this is what it looks like as of right now and this side's a little bit hot because I was burning over there I'm gonna go I'm gonna finish up this wood and then when I'm ready to fill it in with epoxy I will come back and put that on film and then we're just gonna place them in the mold pour the epoxy and then do all the work after it's done curing so I will be back later guys and it most likely isn't going to be today because there's still a lot to do. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you... These animals are going to... These animals... Don't ever buy a small dog. They're the worst. They're like not even dogs. They're like little rats. Hella! Stop! Stop! Hella! Stop! Anyway, make sure you like, hit the button, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice night, everyone.